learning is a process by itself today we are going to learn about quadrato bearing and the whole circle bearing welcome to my channel i'm christine we are going to start by defining the quadrato bearing is a magnetic bearing of a line measured clockwise or anticlockwise from the north pole or south pole depending on which one is nearer to the line either it, it it can be the north or the south that is closer to the line that you want to measure whole circle bearing is the magnetic bearing of the line measured clockwise from the north pole towards the line We are going to look at how illustrate the quadrato bearing and the whole circle bearing and at least try to give the differences between. If you are new to this channel, stay there, like, subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment. Now, if this is our bearing and we have the poles the snot and the south pole for us to have a quadratic bearing this is our line a b our quadratic bearing we have an we want to measure this line a b under the quadratic bearing so we are going to measure either from the north or south regardless of which one is closer to the line in this case the south is close so we are measuring this angle from the south pole this side so our angle will become theta therefore the quadratic bearing will be south theta west for the whole circle bearing we are measuring our line from the north pole clockwise so it's from the north pole clockwise therefore our whole circle bearing will be the angle theta one the quadrants in the quadratic bearing are we have the northeast that is the northeast we have the southeast the southwest and the northwest there are four quadrants in the quadrato bearing and then the quadrato bearing it varies from 0 to 90 degrees whereas the whole circle bearing varies from 0 to 360 degrees so the whole circle bearing the whole circle bearing it is it varies from 0 degrees up to the 360 degrees now we are going to look at the examples how to convert quadratic quadrato bearing to whole circle bearing we said examples of quadrato bearing uh, whenever you see note 35 degrees east you know that is a quadrato bearing if you but if you see that degrees you'll know that is a whole circle bearing let's look at example one we have a quadratic bearing of line AB, which is south 36 degrees west. So it is south west 36 degrees. So it's 36 degrees from the south pole. That is what we have. So that is our line AB. Now let's convert this quadrato bearing south 36 degrees west into whole circle bearing. We already have the 180 from the north to the south there now for us to find the whole circle bearing this is the whole circle bearing up to the line b it will be 180 plus the 36 degrees to get 216 degrees example two we have a quadratic bearing bc south east 43 degrees so we draw our line here southeast and then from the south pole we measure 43 degrees that is where we are finding our our quadratic bearing now we want to find the whole circle bearing in this case the whole circle bearing is from the north pole up to this line that is where we have the whole circle bearing so it will be 180 the half the node from the node to the south and then we subtract the 43 degrees side that we find from the node 
clockwise the whole circle bearing that is 180 minus 43 degrees it gives us 137 degrees let's proceed to example 3 we have quadratic bearing of cd 40 not 40 degrees west not west 40 degrees so we are going to measure 40 degrees from the north so that is where we have our quadratic bearing of cd now let's find the whole circle bearing meaning we are finding the bearing from the north up to this line it will be the circle is 360 degrees and then we less the 40 degrees bearing of the quadratic quadratic bearing that is 360 minus 40 we get 200 320 degrees the last example we have quadratic bearing of de not east 51 degrees so the whole circle bearing of this this quadratic bearing is from the north up to where we have the the line so it will remain 51 degrees we we are saying quadratic bearing both the magnetic north as well as the south pole are considered as the reference so both the north or the south the north pole or the south pole are considered as the reference you can measure the magnetic bearing the north pole is considered as the reference so we consider the the north pole so this is our only reference when we are when we are using the whole circle bearing thank you guys for your time see you next time